Hey everybody, Adam here. And I'm just becoming aware of the latest Twitter purge. Uh, for the last few days you've been hearing about I lost this many followers. XYZ account has said I lost this many thousand. I lost hundreds of followers. I lost this many followers. And uh, there's some accounts that I follow that rely, <coughs> pardon me, that rely on uh, social media for their income uh, as a result, you know, one way or the other. So there's a, there are people that run businesses that use social media like Twitter. So it affects them all, a lot in a different way than it affects your average uh, crap poster or flat earth troll. But I'm just becoming uh being aware, becoming aware. There's a lot to, there's a lot, I mean, a lot of people are missing. I mean, Tom Hanks has been missing since <laughs> last year. What did Tom do? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the most recent, obviously, is uh, people are tweeting about uh, Donald Trump. His Twitter account, as of like 10 minutes ago, was uh, permanently banned. Permanently banned. So I had tweeted, let's just take a moment to soak it in. But I, I think really this deserved a video. So, you know, even for, uh, posterity's sake to look back on this just to soak it in if you're wondering you know 20 years from now or 10 years from now if my account is even still on Twitter I've been on Twitter for a decade so you know if they ban me I'm not coming back I've said that many times but uh, if you put 10 years in and they, then, then uh, somebody bans you I'm not coming back ever um, 10 years is a long time and uh, stab me in the back for 10 years I mean, you could look at it the other way. Well, if you violate their terms of service, you're stabbing them in the back. So I get it, and I've heard all the arguments about uh, private uh, platforms and uh, yada yada. I've heard all sides of the arguments over the years. Believe me. Believe me, I've heard it. And at the end of the day, for whatever it amounts to, there's terms of service for a reason. And Twitter can arbitrarily or not arbitrarily ban people that's just facts matter until governments take over these social media platforms and then uh, years ago you can see my tweets from years ago being like isn't it ironic that the right wing alternative media is calling for more government control they, they they're asking the government to step in and save their social media accounts like do you want to be china it's it's so bizarre it's such a mind job double speak brave new world stuff i'm telling you but um this might have to be <coughs> pardon me a two-part or three-part video but i wanted to just record in the moment my reaction to learning that thousands and thousands if not tens of thousands of twitter accounts from conservative people have been uh, banned it's um i mean it sucks for them it is what it is uh crying about it probably is not going to get your account back um you you've heard my approach to it and i would advise I would advise anybody who's been recently banned off Twitter to take the same approach. You know, if you really felt a way, you could make your own social media platform, nobody's stopping you. And people have done that, obviously. Gab, Parler. When Gab came out, I was moderately interested in it, and I downloaded the app, took a look at it, and I read through the terms of service as I do, believe it or not, before I sign up on any social media platform. And um, after reading the terms of service, I thought to myself, this is shockingly familiar. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I actually started a social media platform and ran it for a couple of years, so about a year and a half myself, called Vegans Are Us. And um, it was many things. It was many things. Uh, one of which was a, a social experiment for vegans, but it was so many things. I mean, I learned, 
I went into it with like a deer in the headlights. I went into it just naive, thinking like vegans, you know, like, can't we all just talk on a vegan platform? Really quickly, you learn that you need to have some uh, rules, and then obviously, when you have some rules, then you have to have people that enforce those rules. Like really, qui really quickly, you need you realize that you need moderators, and um, and in, unless you want to overwork the moderators, you l learn really quickly that you need um, rules, you know, uh, and to stick to them and to have like very clear defined rules or you're going to overwork your moderators. So another thing that people do is use paywalls. And I, I don't think Twitter's ever going to uh, do that, but uh, I've heard about Facebook trying to float that idea around over the years. Imagine paying to be on a social media platform like these nuts. No way. How about I buy some Twitter stock? I've done that in the past and sold it afterwards. You're welcome. Yeah, selling and buying Twitter stock. I'm tired, but look, I'm just trying to soak it in. I mean, I know that a lot of Trump supporters and Republicans and conservatives are going to be upset. Um, one thing you could say is that first they came for Alex Jones. <laughs> you know? Um, I've always said that China is the model. These companies, big tech companies, they work hand in glove with the Chinese government in China. I mean, Google works with the Chinese government in China to have their company exist in China according to China's regulations. Can you imagine that that weird position that you're in? You, you know, you have a company that uh, archives and searches information and then the country of China is intentionally firewalling off information from its citizens. So you're in this like weird position of like owning a library <laughs> and then putting velvet ropes around large sections of the library and you know for certain people so segregation at its best you know tiered systems of information can I see your ID please uh, this section with the vel beyond the velvet ropes is only for people with lettered jackets you don't seem to have a leather letter lettered jacket this section over here uh, might be more your interest. <laughs> There's children's stories in science fiction. We know. <laughs> Crazy times, uh, 2021. I'll do a morning banana show eventually, and until then, you're just going to have to deal with this. Um, there's a reason why I haven't been doing morning banana shows uh, since my last one. And um, t similarly... I'm not talking about my stock picks anymore until I reach a target. So I'm in the uh, let's wait and see phase of my life before I talk about things. I'm just tired of speaking on things until I've reached my own personal targets, however ridiculous they are. So we're all in this together. I'm here in 2021 with the rest of you guys, and I'm still on Twitter, still using social media. I'm going to go home and watch a movie. Got to work tomorrow. We're all here together. You know, you can make 2021 the best year of your life by, you know, putting in the work. 2020 was a great year for me, despite what the outside world was going, you know, going on with the outside world. So do the work, do the thing. Take care of uh, what's in here, what's in here, and uh, take care of your loved ones the best you can. And, uh, you know, let the world do what the world is doing. What are you going to do? Clearly, if you go and protest <laughs> um, the wrong way, you might get shot. So uh, be, be cautious out there. Use your brain. Take care, everybody.